Civility and respect to me means treating others as you would expect to be treated yourself. I think it's sometimes hard to remember this, particularly when we're working under pressure or when other people hold different views, beliefs or experience to us. I think civility is how we behave towards each other when we're being courteous, polite, attentive and inclusive. I think respect perhaps is more an attitude than a behaviour um, and it's an attitude of acceptance, care, openness and valuing each other's feelings and needs. To me it means being polite, being kind and I always say to anybody is in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I think it's about bringing people together and creating an environment of and politeness and treating people with courtesy so that everybody's view irrespective of their job, their race, their background are treated equally and, and every view matters. Civility and respect uh, to me are actually the very basic human qualities of behaviour uh, for any civilised uh, society to have and, and it's simply, for me, it's simply to show others some courtesy, some dignity to others and to actually value their worth uh, regardless of how they look or how they dress or even how they speak. So I think um, increasingly employers and especially NHS with the, the people plan are kind of moving towards creating sort of an inclusive and diverse workforce and the civility and respect is very important in that sense and I think with people from different backgrounds and different cultures Having that sort of understanding and civility and respect for people is, is key more than ever. Diversity is about in, um, incorporating people's differences and including them in our everyday lives, ensuring that we treat people as equal and one. Diversity and inclusion are on a day-to-day -day basis, particularly at the LHD, um, very strong values about putting patients first, respecting uh, our colleagues. Uh, and just really on a day-to-day -day basis, ensuring that we celebrate each other's differences and use that as a strength towards uh, providing care for our patients and the local community uh, and also uh, towards collegial working uh, and, and ensuring that we have that respect uh, for our differences and what we have to contribute as a result of that uh, and really bringing diversity in its broadest sense uh, to the table. I think everybody has home lives, everybody has their own stresses, which when you bring into work and you put in a very high pressure environment, often with staff shortages, that can often spill out into unwanted behaviours and actions. But by taking the time just to take a deep breath or by responding to that situation with kind kindness and being civil, that can often be the thing needed to turn that situation around or for it to not to happen at all. Because our words matter, our behaviours matter, and ultimately our patients and our teams matter. Well, I think the culture that we're trying to create at ELHT of, of togetherness and, and, and respect and courteousness I think the Festival of Inclusion is, is a symbolic nature of that and I think it's a way we can really get our message across to staff and the local population by people contributing. It's important to get involved in the Festival of Inclusion because it helps people to celebrate diversity. Uh, and when you, when you celebrate diversity, you're celebrating differences. And when you're celebrating differences, you get to know people at an individual level and once you get to know people at an individual level, you build friendship, you build relationship, it removes hatred and it increases civility and respect. I encourage everybody to get involved because it's a real opportunity to hear about different aspects of the inclusion agenda and start to develop an understanding and tolerance which helps with that civility and respect. Um, and a great chance to meet colleagues from across uh, the, the Trust. It's that getting to know one another that creates that sense of belonging for us here. The Festival of Inclusion for me isn't about gender, sexuality, race, age. It's about, um, be, you know, everybody's unique. It's about bringing your whole self to work. And it's this, the Festival of Inclusion is a celebration of that. Um, and I'd really encourage you teams to kind of come along and participate. We've been through a lot in the last 18 months and it provides a perfect opportunity to take a bit of time and reflection, celebrate a bit and eat some great food too.